okay so in this video we will be talking about um, one of the applications no, of first order differential equation in which we'll be talking about population growth problems so when we say population growth problem so it um, it is all about uh, finding no, the number of population of a given uh, maybe if, of, if a given country or a number of a certain bacteria or a certain mic microorganism at a given time you know so for this um, for this one we will use the differential equation dp dt is equal to kp you know wherein your wherein your dp dt so this is equal to the rate of change you no know? change of the population no? okay meanwhile your p no? p is the number no? the number of um, inhabitants no? or the the inhabitants no? or or the population at any given time no? and your k is your constant of proportionality no? okay. okay so let's go back with this differential equation no so this differential equation is just a basic first order differential equation which we could use our technique in uh, uh, variable separable no so let's consider this one no? maybe we'll have that one in this color so dp dt is equal to kp no so if you are going to get the general solution of this one so we'll have to divide both sides by dt over p so we'll have dp dt so that will be multiplied by dtp no? that will be equal to k kp times dtp no Okay, then let's simplify this one so we could cancel here our dt. So we're left with dp over p that will be equal to cancel the p here. So we have key dt. Then we integrate both sides of our equation. So with this one just a basic uh, logarithmic. So that is ln p is equal to k times t plus ln c. No? So at this point, we have now our general solution. So to solve this one, we need our initial conditions. No? For example, we will say at t, no? our t is equal to t sub 1. No? So we will have that 1 or t sub 0, no? that's the initial condition. So we will have our p is equal to the initial value of the population, which is p sub o. No? So we will have... We will just substitute this one to this equation no? to our general solution. So we have ln p sub 0 is equal to k times t o plus ln z. No? And we will say, let's just assume that our t sub 0 is equal to 0 no? because that is the starting value or the starting time. No? So that is 0 seconds. So we have ln p sub 0 is equal to k times 0 plus lnz so we could see that our lnc will be equal to lnpo now for example we are going to solve for k no? so we will need another value no? of our initial conditions no? so we we'll say at t is equal to t sub 1 then our p is equal to p sub 1 so just substitute that one so we'll have ln p sub 1 plus oh no it is equals not plus equal k t sub 1 plus lnc so we just substitute the uh, value of our lnc so we'll have ln p sub 1 is equal to k t sub 1 plus ln p sub 
zero no so from this one we could solve for the value of k so we have we transfer our ln p sub zero this side equation so we have ln p sub one minus ln p sub zero this is equal to kt sub one so using the uh, properties of logarithm so we could have the of ln p sub one over p sub zero p sub zero is equal to kt sub one then multiply both sides by 1 over t1 so we could eliminate our t, t1 on this part of the equation and we will have the value now of our p sub 1 no? so ln p sub 1 over p sub 0 so this will be equal to or over t sub 1 which is equal to k so the the other part of now will be getting no? the value of our p at a certain time for example at t sub 2 no? at t is equal to t sub 2 so we'll be looking for the value of our p no? so that is now the the problem so how we are going to do that so we just copy again the general solution so ln p is equal to k t plus ln c no? then we substitute the value of our ln c and our k so we have ln p is equal to our k is ln no, p sub 1 over p sub 0 over t1 times in the value of our t which is t2 plus our ln c is ln p sub 0 no in solving for uh, p so we could have that one as e ln p is equal to e ln p1 over p o so this will be the exponent of our uh, e plus ln p o then using the the property of logarithm so we could have this one as l uh, e to the ln p is equals to e ln we should put the ln over here ln p1 over p o over t1 just um, adjust this one first. Okay, ln so p sub one p o over t one, then times e ln p o. So we could now have this one as p is equal to p sub o because e to the ln p is just equal to p. No? Same with ln p o. No? Then e ln p sub 1 over p sub o over t sub 1 okay so that is how we are going to solve for the value of p no given the t to for example we are going to solve no at p is equal to p3 so we need to find our t no so just use the same values and use the same general equation so we have ln p is equal to kt plus ln c. So our our p here will be ln p. So ln p sub three is equal to our k. No, so just substitute the value of p. So our k is uh, ln p sub one over p sub zero over t sub one then we are going to solve for t plus l and c no? okay so the next part is we are going to solve for t no so what we are going to do that one is just to transfer here no? so we have l and p3 minus l and c is equal to l and p sub 1 over p sub 0 over t sub 1 times t no? so it will become ln p3 no? using the property of logarithms then we will have uh, ln uh, p sub 1 over p sub 0 t1 times t now solving for t so we just um, trans, uh, transfer this one to the other side of the equation so we will have um, t sub 1 ln 
ln we will just write this one no? okay so ln p3 p3 over c times t1 over ln p sub 1 over p sub o and this is now equal to t so now we have the formula no? the formula on solving the time given the the population no and also solving for the population given the time so this is how you are going to treat um population growth problems no on the next video we'll be tackling about uh we'll be having an example no? an example problem how to solve uh, population growth problems okay so i hope you understand something in this video and as always enjoy learning